Hey, this is Matthew and welcome back to Nerd News Today. And it's time for another action figure review. And this is one that, you know, I say this often on the show that I'm always anticipating or waiting for this one. But this really is actually one of the figures I've been really looking forward to for quite some time. And that is from Diamond Select, the John Wick action figure. So this figure here is based on his appearance from the first John Wick movie. And it's a toy of Keanu along with his dog Daisy and a whole ton of artillery. So let's go ahead and talk about the box real quick and I'll get him out and take a peek at everything he comes with as well as the figure itself. So the packaging is our typical diamond packaging. It's an enormous box, but this time around it makes sense to actually have that enormous box because as you can see, he's got a lot in there. Otherwise, it's pretty simple design, purple logo, purple background everywhere, blue text. It's got the movie logo, fairly simple. On the side here, we have a picture of the action figure which, uh, you know, I think I've noticed with some of the movie toys too, I don't think they normally put the photos of the actors on them. I think they usually keep to the images of the toy. So that could be a licensing thing. I don't really know, not a big deal to me because I'm a loose collector anyway, but that's what you get on the side. And the back of the box, uh, also fairly simple. We get just a big full body picture of the John Wick figure along with his beagle. Uh, and we get like basically a paragraph that kind of explains the movie a little bit. Uh, and just again, telling us a little more about what the figure has, which is a ton of articulation and a bunch of weapons. And it also tells us that this was designed by Yuri Taming and sculpted by the folks at Gentle Giant Studios. So it's another just enormous diamond packaging. But, you know, again, I'm a loose collector and I'm not going to be keeping him like this. So without further ado, I think it's time to get our John Wick loose and take a look at him outside of the packaging. So here is our John Wick now out of the packaging. And you can see just how cool this figure looks out of the box. So again, this is Keanu Reeves' character based on the appearance from the first John Wick film. He's got the iconic suit, that super thin tie, as well as a face that has clearly seen a lot of action. So let's talk about that sculpt first things first. And I gotta say that is a real knockout sculpt of Keanu. Totally is him, no doubt about it. Uh, I really can see no faults with this Keanu face whatsoever. In fact, I actually like it so much, I wish there was a second head with it. Now granted, this toy already has a ton of accessories that we're gonna look at, but I think a spare Keanu head that's not all cut up would have also been just great to have but I'm pretty sure there's at least one other Keanu Reeves figure in the way that's gonna have a more plain face, a more neutral face, I should say. So uh, that's gonna be worth checking out once we get that. But yeah, it's an amazing sculpt on it. A great paint job to accompany it as well. Really no complaints top to bottom. That's just a killer head for a killer character. And again, same thing with the suit. I think they got all the points needed to get with it. I mean, it just looks perfect. It's a really great suit. Really sharp looking. I wish I had one look that good, to be honest, too. And I love that there's two different colors as well because you've got the shiny, shiny shoes he's wearing on, more of the matte finish on the suit itself. Uh, I think it's it's really darn good looking. It is a little funny though that the tie, as you can see, kind of pokes out a little bit with this little additional rubber piece. So I don't know if it's gonna go down or not. You know, I mean, clearly it really shouldn't go down too much because it's gonna get in the way of the articulation, but it's a little funny to see it kind of flapping out there. And speaking of articulation, let's take a look at that. Now, based on the packaging, it says that he has 25 points of articulation, but we'll see how many of those actually work, because I can already see one that's gonna be a problem, but the head is able to turn left and right. Uh, I believe it is on a ball joint, but there's not a ton of mobility because his hair is so big. We do have ball jointed shoulders, bicep swivel, a double jointed elbow, which is gonna be great for actually getting him to hold his guns. Uh, and we do have wrists that move as well, but they're all, as usual, a diamond figure, very stiff, although, uh, I gotta say so far, it's you know stiff out the box, but it's not like cracking stiff yet, so that's something cool. Uh, we do have this chest piece over here, you can see under his tie, but it's not really moving because he's got the suit, and that's a big part of it. It's basically this giant rubber suit on top. So, you know, he can't really move. The waist does look like it moves, but again, it's just super stiff because the suit as well is on there. Uh, we do have this, the typical articulation that we get with these figures for the legs with the T-hinged crotch. Uh, you know, but, but again, the suit kind of hinders that. Uh, and we do have the thigh swivel, also pretty darn stiff out the box. Double jointed knees, and some ankle articulation there as well. So actually really nice ball joint on that. That looks really good. So the articulation is pretty solid overall, but there are clearly a few spots that are gonna hinder his movement. So if you're trying to do any roundhouse kicks with this John Wick figure, don't think that's gonna happen, but there's plenty of other stuff you can do. Now you'll also notice that he is actually standing up perfectly straight. I actually brought over here uh, it's clear, so maybe you can't see it as easily, but this is one of my diamond figure stands that I got. And I was gonna put him on this to help him stand up, but he's doing just fine on his own. So that's pretty great too. As we mentioned, John has a ton of accessories. And we're gonna start things off with the most important one really, and that's his beagle, Daisy. Daisy is awesome. Uh, it's just a one piece toy, no articulation, but great paint job, great face. That's got the perfect little beagle face, it's adorable. I love that they included that. And you really, you have to include that with this toy. How can you not include Daisy? 
What's also fun is that there's a really nice accessory that's not in scale with the figure, but it's in scale with basically myself and any other normal sized human being. And that's the Hotel Continental gold coin. So we've got some really nice detail on that. That's a fun little accessory to include, actually. I really like that. I wonder if they're gonna have any markers with the uh, other genre figures that are coming out soon, the other medallions that you've seen in the movies. But this is a nice little touch and something just kind of fun for the collector themselves. And on top of that, this figure comes with a literal arsenal of weapons. And I'm no gun expert, but I'm gonna do my best to identify them as much as possible for you guys. So we do have over here the Glock 17 handgun. We have a really nice little thin knife. We have what I believe is another Glock of some kind, but a much smaller one in a holster. Now, does this gun actually fit anywhere on him? Uh, let's take a look. Because I don't actually think there's a spot for you to put this guy. So yeah, uh, basically it's just a Glock and a holster and you can do other things with it. And then he has a few larger weapons as well. We have a really cool looking kel KSG shotgun, which I love that. I just love this thing. It looks really, really cool and it's a really great movie prop also. We have a CA-415 with the shortened barrel over there and the pistol grip, as well as the holographic sight. And last but not least, we have a DTA Stealth Recon Scout Sniper gun, which is enormous. So a lot of very cool guns, but can you actually hold them is the question. Well, it's a lot to find out, but let's go ahead and try them out one by one. We'll start with that Glock. Let's see if we can get this in his hand. And there we go, Glock is in his hand. His hands are actually a little bit more flexible, I feel like, than other figures uh, we've seen from Diamond. That's probably to help him fit all these weird guns he's gonna have to hold. And also kind of neat is the barrel of this Glock is actually kind of a little bit hollowed out. So uh, it's a little bit more realistic in that regard. It's rare that you actually see toy guns of this size have that but uh, this one actually does. So unexpected little bonus there for any like hardcore gun aficionados out there. Of course the knife uh, I think is gonna be a little too small for any of his hands. Yeah, yeah. so knife is kinda not so great. This guy here as well, uh, you know, I guess you can put this in his other hand, but it's also a little bit undersized, so don't really know what you'll do with this one. But I wanna try the ginormous shotgun here. Let's see how that looks on him. Oh, that looks good already. And since he has the double jointed elbows here, he can easily hold his gun. There you go, check that out. Fairly easy to get this in his arms as well. That's looking mighty good. Let's try another. Let's try the, let's try this guy out. Again, this one almost even easier to get in his arms. And there we go. That is in. So I'm doing this really quick too. I'm not trying to get it perfect, but uh, for you guys at home who want to do play with it a little bit more. Yeah, again, these are really, really easy to get into his hands. So I'm not really having any struggle whatsoever to do that. That's actually very impressive to me, especially for a diamond figure. That looks really nice. Now let's try the last gun he comes with, which is the biggest one, the sniper rifle. And this one I feel like is gonna be a problem though, because you can see that already that it's got a much larger handle on it. Uh, yeah, this, this one might be a challenge. Let us find out. No, all right, looks like we kind of got it. Uh, you know, this one, maybe not quite as much. I don't really feel like forcing it today, <laughs> to be honest. Um, I think you can get it with a little bit more finagling. Let's see if you get it maybe under here. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't think it's impossible to get it in his hand, but I also think it just looks a little silly and wacky compared to the other weapons. So I'm gonna probably actually stick with the shotgun for the rest of this review here. But yeah, I mean, I gotta also mention as I was doing this, you know, again, the hand details are really nice. The hand is a little bit soft, um, but that makes it perfect for holding all these accessories. And I do want to mention on his left hand there, you can see his ring as well. So good attention to detail to you, on you guys, Diamond. But I would expect no less. So this is a very, very good version of John Wick here from Diamond Select. I'm loving everything about it. Like this was really worth the wait. For any John Wick fans out there, Keanu fans, total absolute must have. Perfect likeness, they totally nailed the likeness. The body is great, even though the articulation is a little hindered in one or two spots, doesn't affect the figure really in any way, especially for what the types of things that this character would do if you were posing it. He can hold pretty much all of the guns with the exception of the knife, the pistol in the holster, and that big sniper rifle. But even that big sniper rifle, I think you could probably do something with it if you play with it a little bit more than I did. Uh, again, I was just trying to give you guys a little quick look at everything, but I think there's probably a way to get in there and make it look convincing. You know, really the guns I like the best are able to fit in his hand and that works fine for me. And plus you have his dog. How can you not have the figure without the dog? Plus the added bonus of the coin. There's a lot of really great pros about this figure. And really, even if you couldn't hold this sniper rifle that well, there's so much other great stuff that he comes with that it doesn't really matter to me. 
One accessory that they could have added to this would have been another set of hands, maybe a closed fist or two, so you could have more fisticuffs, if you will. But on the other hand, they've already included a lot of accessories, way more accessories than I feel they normally put in with a diamond figure. So you're getting a ton of guns already, you're getting the dog, you're getting the coin, and while spare hands would have been awesome, I think that would have meant upping the price or would have made this probably much more difficult to make in general. But again, as I mentioned, there will be other John Wick figures. Maybe they'll have other hands to go with these down the line. But with what we've already gotten with this initial release of the figure, everything else is just gravy at this point. This is a stellar figure, amazing version of John Wick, and I'm really looking forward to the other versions that are gonna be coming out soon from Diamond. For uh, I think they're doing one for John Wick 3 with his new dog. It's got some more weapons. Uh, really, by the end of it, if you get all these John Wick figures, you're gonna have a pretty big arsenal for your figures that are in the scale of Diamond Select. Yeah, I'm trying not to gush too hard over this figure, but I'm gonna do it a little bit here, folks. So for real, if you are a John Wick fan, if you're into the genre, if you're into the movies, if you're into Keanu Reeves, man, total must-have figure, absolutely worth adding to your collection. If you're not even a toy collector, this is still is good to have. I mean, you know, it's just a darn good looking figure. It nails every element of it pretty much perfectly or close to it. I don't really have any complaints that are gonna be enough to say don't buy this toy. I, I'm really telling you guys, pick it up. So that is our look at Diamond Select's John Wick figure based on the first John Wick film. Clearly, I'm really, really into this figure. I think you will be too. So it's worth scooping up. And hey, if you do wanna scoop it up today, go ahead and look below and you'll see in our YouTube description area an Amazon affiliate link where you can pick up this figure as well as a few other John Wick things. If you use those links, it helps support this website and costs you nothing extra. So please help us help you. So until next time, I'm Matthew. Thanks for watching this video today. If you like what you see here, please consider subscribing to the channel. So this has been a Nerd News Today video. And until next time, we'll see you guys here again very soon on Nerd News Today. Be safe out there.